All right, today we are on 561, page 561. That's lesson 9.9, 9.9 in your math book. If you're not there, hit pause, find that page, hit play when you're ready. All right, so today we're looking at our clocks again. Okay, telling time to the hour and the half hour. So circle the clock that matches the problem. All right. Barbara goes to the store at eight o'clock. Circle the clock that shows eight o'clock. So look at these two clocks. Which one shows eight o'clock? So think when it's o'clock, where does that where does that minute hand where does the hour hand have to go? For o'clock, it has to point right to the number. Is this one pointing right to a number? Mm-mm, that's halfway past. Is that pointing right to a number? It is. And it's the minute hand is on the 12 for o'clock. So we're gonna circle this clock. It shows eight o'clock. This one, right, is halfway past the eight or 8.30. All right, now let's look at the three bottom clocks. Barbara takes Rita, Rhea for a walk at 1.30. Circle the clock that shows 1.30. All right, so remember for 1.30, right, 30, where does that minute hand have to go to show 30 minutes have gone by? Does it go at the 12 or down at the bottom at the 6? Yeah, at the bottom at six, right? When it's on the 12, it's o'clock. So look at this one. That's o'clock. That's o'clock. Now this one shows that 30 minutes have gone by. Mm, let's check out the hour. It's in between the one and the two. So it went halfway past the one, or we say 1.30. So this is our clock. All right. Okay, so just remember when it's when 30 minutes have gone by, it has to the minute hand has to be down here at the six. Right? When we do o'clock, it points right to the number, the hour hand points right to the number, and the minute hand starts off at the top. Okay. The top it says, where should you draw the minute hand to show the time? So look at this clock, right? We don't even need to look at the digital clock yet. Just look at the regular clock. When the hour hand's pointing right to the nine, we say it's nine o'clock. So for nine o'clock, and here's the digital time, where does the minute hand go for o'clock? Yeah, at the top of the 12, right? O'clock starts off fresh. No minutes have gone by. There's our digital time. So same thing for this one. Look at this. This one, the hour hand is halfway past. If it's halfway past this nine, where does the minute hand go? Where do we show the minute hand going half past? Yeah, down here at the six, right? It went halfway around the clock. Then we can write that. When we write half past nine, we write it as 9.30. 30. 30 minutes have gone by. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right, we're gonna do the same on these clocks today. We're going to be filling in our minute hand, okay, just by seeing where our hour hand is on the clock and writing the time, our digital time. All right, here's our analog clock. The hour hand is pointing at the four. So when it points right at the four, we say it's four o'clock. Mm, so we can write that four o'clock because that's our easy one, right? Where does the minute hand go to show four o'clock? Very good, at the top of the 12. Okay, four o'clock. Now look at this one. 
this isn't pointing right to a number, is it? It's in between. Ah, in between. So it went halfway past what number? It went halfway past the 11. So we have our 11, we know our two dots. When it's gone halfway around, right? Half past 11 or 11, 30. Where does our minute hand go? When to show halfway around the clock. Yeah, down at the six. 11.30. All right, look at this one. What? Look at that hour hand. Is it pointing right to a number? Mm-mm. It shows us that then, so if it's not pointing right to a number, that shows us that it's half past. So let's think. Let's do our minute hand first. Where do we put our minute hand to show that it's gone halfway around? Yeah, the minute hand goes down here on the six. Okay, let's write our time. What number did our hour hand go half past? It went halfway past the six. Didn't get to the seven yet, did it? Okay, so we say it's half past six or six thirty. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. All right. Look at this one. Oh, the hour hand's pointing right to the seven. So when it's pointing right to the number, we say it's seven o'clock. So we can write seven o'clock. Right, seven, two dots, zero, zero. Where does the minute hand go for o'clock? Right to the 12. Okay. My first graders, I want you to try number five and number six. Remember, if the hour hand is pointing right to the number, it's o'clock. If it's in between, right, in between, then it's half past, right? Or 30 minutes have gone by. Give this a try. Hit play when you're ready to check. All right, let's check our work. If you're hitting play, you're ready to check. All right, look at the first one. It pointed right to the two. So you should have said it's two o'clock. Where do we put our minute hand? Hopefully you remembered your minute hand. When it's o'clock, it goes on the 12, right through the 12, right at the top. Two o'clock. Number six, let's look at this one. It wasn't pointing right to a number. It's in between. Hmm, what do we say when it's in between? Well, what number did it go halfway past? Halfway past the three. So we say it's three. 30, halfway past three or 3.30. Where does the minute hand go by if it's half past? If it went halfway past? Yeah, down at the six, it went halfway around the clock. So we say it's 3.30 or half past three. All right, my first graders. I want you to give the, this row a try. When you're finished with this row, Okay, hit play to check. All right, if you're hitting play, you did this first row. Let's see how you did. All right, here is our hour hand. It's pointing right at the 10. So you should have said 10 o'clock, right? When it points right at the number, it's o'clock. Where does that minute hand go for o'clock? At the 12. Right. This one, look, it's not pointing to a number. It went half past. What number did it go halfway past? It went halfway past the 12. Didn't get to the one yet. 
So we put 12, half past 12, or 12, 30. 30 minutes have gone by. Where do we put the minute hand for half past or 12.30? Yeah, down on the six. We went halfway around our clock. 30 minutes have gone by. Number nine, it's pointing right to the five. So we say five o'clock when it's right on the number. For o'clock, where's that minute hand? At the top. So if your problems look like this, you are correct. If you need to pause to fix something, you can. If not, we're gonna keep going. All right, look at this bottom row. I want you to try this bottom row. So pause, hit play when you're ready to check. All right, let's hit play. All right, look at this one. Look at the hour hand, right? The hour hand is halfway between the 10 and the 11, right? Halfway. So where did you put your minute hand? Did you put, remember to put your minute hand halfway around? Yeah. And we write this, right? It went halfway past the 10. So we say 10, 30, 30 minutes have gone by. For this one, <laughs> this is a funny one to draw. Look at this hour hand. It's pointing right to the 12. So we say it's 12 o'clock. So I can write that. Then we need to put our minute hand in. Everybody always thinks this is weird when we draw this minute hand. For o'clock, where does it go? Yeah, on the 12. So we're gonna write it, we make it right through each other. It's like they're right on top of each other. Remember my clock when we did 12 o'clock? Can't even see my hour hand. It's covering it up. They're both pointing right to the 12. All right, look at this one. What, oh, it's in between, in between the five and the six, right? So that tells us it's half past. Where does our, where does our minute hand go for half past? Yeah, down here, right? Halfway around. So we went half past the five, or we say five, how many minutes went by? 30, 30 minutes went by. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right, so if you need to pause to fix something, you can. Today, we're gonna stop here. We'll do the rest, okay, on the, on the next day. But we're gonna stop here and do some extra practice. Okay, we're gonna do an extra practice slide to practice what we did today.